Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the book club. It is I, your host, Thugget McNugget. And we have read, or we are going to discuss chapters 28, 29, 30, and 31. This book is getting spicy. The stakes are high. And we I do not know how this is going to end. But after reading chapter 28, it could be jail. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with chapter 28. So this chapter has the kids. Um, it's t- Time has passed. A few weeks have passed, or, I believe. And they're they're chilling. They're they're not too much the talk of the town anymore or of the school anymore. Now it's about this kid, this tenth grader who was caught masturbating in the library with the encyclopedia letter K. I have no idea what that means. I don't know. I don't know what that means. What uh, Alf asks, "What's in K? That's so good." And it's like I don't know. I don't know, Alf. Well, that's 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 bizarre. I don't. <laughs> that's super funny. Anyways. Um, so, um, Billy has this letter, wants to give it to Mary, but he doesn't know how. They keep asking about it. Alf and Clark keep asking about it. Finally, Alf steals the letter at the light, at the lunch, uh, at the cafeteria. Sorry. My mind's everywhere. I just drank coffee. So I'm like going at least 60 miles an hour, which is usually, which is more than usual for me. (laughs) And... Okay, so Alf takes the the letter and guesses that hey, this is a, this is an apology letter and stuff, and you feel bad, and you like Mary, and stupid Billy's like, no, no, I don't, <laughs> and it's like, dude, you like her. Finally, Alf is is something good. I feel like Alf was super cool in this chapter, even though he's extremely dumb he was super cool in this one he was like you like mary just admit it dude like it's fine we could have helped you out and blah 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 of course i doubt they would have helped out and billy even okay i know they made it hard for him to 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 admit that he liked mary but i think honestly i think after after billy would have told the guys they would have been cool with it. They would have probably made fun of him for a bit, but, like, they would have been cool with it, you know? And they're acting super cool now because, like, they've just been through a lot with each other and things are starting to make sense. So, it just... I I just wish um, Billy realized this earlier, I guess. And anyways, Clark has this idea, and this is... Oh, uh, uh, and this was super funny. Clark has an idea. They go to the library, and like these fifth grader girls are looking at Clark. It's like ooh, ooh giggling and stuff. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, since he was taken to the police, now he has this reputation. So now he's like the Tyler of. Well, that's kind of what I'm guessing. Now he is the Tyler of the school for a younger generation. You know, he's probably going to be a senior when they're freshmen. Whatever. I don't care. Um, Clark comes up with an idea Billy is going to climb up the mountain to get to St. Agatha's Mary School drop a letter, give a letter to one of the Catholic girls there so that she will give it to Mary at school now this is a crazy idea because if he gets caught he, there is we definitely know why he's going or like, I'm sure the cops will know why he's going and he's not that is a no-no, he's going to get caught I'm I'm scared he's gonna get caught. This is what I meant. This is what I meant. This I I don't know where this book's gonna end because he might get caught. He might not. But uh, jail is super possible. I thought it was a great chapter. Chapter twenty eight was cool. Um, it it redeemed the the two friends quite a bit. They were um, they were excellent. I thought they were they actually felt like good friends. You know. And we will see what happens in the next chapter of chapter 29. Does Billy go through with it? Is there more planning to do? Who knows? But we we are getting near the end and it's exciting. Anyways, you guys, uh, I'll be back with chapter 29. So don't go anywhere.
Hello everyone, and welcome back to the book club. You're listening to me again. We just finished reading chapter 29, and it was extremely short, but I think it's kind of funny how, how, uh, I didn't mention this in the, in the last chapter, but, uh, this whole, this whole plan that Clark made up, it sounds like the impossible fortress where, uh, Billy is like the hero and he's going to go up to, uh, he's going to go up the mountain and, uh, and I guess in chapter 29, the title says, add, uh, create new bad guys or new bosses or whatever. I think, I think the name of the chapter was that. And here comes Tack, just reminding him like, Hey, don't do anything dumb. Okay. Like you have a second chance now. And he's, he's act. it's like Billy's the hero and he has to get around Tack or like the police because he, he has to get up that mountain to see Mary, you know, to get that letter. It was a really short chapter. I thought it was kind of funny how the Tack and the mom was talking about Dallas, um, but uh, the TV show. And it kind of made me think, like, hey, is, uh, are they interested in each other or something? But, uh, the, uh, Billy's mom just says, oh, he's taking an interest in you and wants to make sure you're not doing anything stupid. And Billy's like, well, I'm not. And as soon as he says he's not, he, he goes back to the plotting how to get to St. Agatha's, which I thought was kind of funny. Kind of, uh, kind of clever, you know? Anyways, again, short chapter, but it's all setting up for the grand finale, I bet, where it will be kind of like the Impossible Fortress, but in real life. Because St. Agatha is apparently an Impossible Fortress to get to. Anyways, I'll be back with chapter 30 discussion in a bit, so don't go anywhere, y'all. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the book club. Just finished reading chapter 30, and it was very short, and I don't think a lot happened in the chapter. Um, Apparently, it was just, like, really hot. They all wore kind of nice clothes, and I thought that was kind of funny. Alf just really... Alf's a little scared about his dad, about getting caught, but he really wants to see uh, St. Uh, Agatha's, uh, the school, like, it, no one's ever done it before, so he's like, I guess he wants to be one of the first ones, you know, so, um, and they, they bike ride for a while, yeah, nothing, nothing really happened, I, I, in my opinion, at least, uh, it was, it was just a short chapter, oh, um, they get to a gas station, uh, who, who gets water, a Clark, or one of them gets water, <laughs> and they're making fun of him for it, who pays 50 cents for water, <laughs> but it was, oh yeah, Clark, but he was like, it's the best water he's ever tasted, of course, because it's not from the hose, you know, I thought that was funny, but I, I think that was like a a good representation of children those days, where it's like, and uh, I could totally see them growing up to be like adults with their kids and like just working outside and drinking water from like the hose and like just, just real like, I don't know, kid, kid kind of stuff, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, I see that happening. And, and I think it's a pretty good, uh, vision of how they will grow up, you know? Also, um, they talk to the, to the store owner and it's like oh you should turn back now and it's like why why should we so every the every every day or not every day around this time people always try to to bike up to saint agatha's you're not going to see the school and it's like oh we're gonna do it and it's like oh dude i thought that was kind of cool because it just it makes the it makes it more treacherous like the 
their mission more treacherous, but also um, the way, like I said before, it's kind of trying to shape itself to be like like a video game. So this guy is just like, huh, turn back now, you know? So he kind of fits that like video game trope of like, turn away, you will, you will not, you will not succeed kind of thing. So I thought that was kind of cool. A little corny. All the, all these like video game references, like reference to video games are like video game tropes happening in their little, uh, St. Agatha mission is a little like corny, but it is a little like fun. It's, it's, it's a fun thing because they're on their own adventure and that's what it sounds like. That's what it's, they're making. It's making it sound like anyways, I'll be back with chapter 31, the last chapter for this video. And it's actually, it looks like it's going to be a pretty girth. It's a, it's a pretty girthy one. Like it's, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big chapter. I'm excited to read it and I will be back soon with it. So stick around. Dude, oh my gosh, what just happened? Okay, <laughs> this chapter. Oh, I'm sorry, welcome back to the book club. <laughs> we just finished reading chapter 31, and it was a great chapter. It was a lot of fun to read. It's probably the best chapter so far. <laughs> um, dude, okay, so I'm going to summarize a little bit. If you've already read this chapter, I'm sh okay, if you're listening to this, you, sh you you know you read, I know you read this chapter if you listen to this. Anyways, this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to summarize what happened, okay? Because it's a pretty big chapter, and yeah, I know you guys are waiting <laughs> for me to talk about the ending. Anyways, so, the... Uh, Alf, Clark, and Billy, they're in the road. They they jump through bushes. They're hiding. They're walking around uh, fences. They're trying to get through the big fence, whatever. Uh, they're all muddy. They're sweaty. They're tired. I thought that was great. I thought it was, I was, it was a lot of fun reading that because it felt like they were doing the Impossible Fortress in a way. Like, they're trying to get inside, and they're all, like coming up with ideas, some funny dialogue here and there. And they go underneath the fence. They go they go underneath the fence through like a little creek, a little muddy creek. And it was it was funny that um uh, what's his name? Alf left his shoes on the other side and uh he's kinda like walking barefoot, whatever. I know I'm like a little jumbled everywhere. It was a pretty long chapter, so um uh, this is a lot to to try to remember but i think it's i think there was this there was this really funny part where they're watching these girls play lacrosse some girls play lacrosse already inside the the school grounds and alf says that i bet they have their periods together <laughs> and they're like they're they're arguing about that and stuff and it was like the dumbest thing billy's ever heard <laughs> i thought it was hilarious and, um, anyways, uh, that, I thought that was super funny, but something that Billy says, um, is that he notices these girls that are, they're not like swimsuit models. They're like, they're short, they're chubby, they're really tall, really freckly, but he realizes that these are the most beautiful girls he's ever seen. <laughs> I thought that was also funny. And, uh, dude, um, uh, Okay, I was about to say Clark has a moment to shine, but that happens a little bit later. Anyways, yeah, they, they meet up with this girl. They they find the girl. They find a girl, but the girl happens to be uh, a worker at the Video City where they bought where they rent Kramer versus Kramer all the time. And they've been <laughs> she reveals that they've been keeping count, like the store managers and everybody there keeping count how many times they rent it. They've rented eighteen times. And we know why they're renting it. I wonder if they know. I don't think they... They might know why. Yeah, I'm sure they know why. Because she's a little weirded out by that. But anyway... Clark convinces the girl... I think her name was Lauren. I'm not sure. I forgot. That she... Uh, to bring Mary over. Because Billy 
but Billy's letter is messed up because of the swamp water. So he's like, I need to talk to her, blah, blah, blah. And then Clark uses his good charms and and charisma to convince her, you know? And I thought that was a good moment for Clark because I don't, he's had a lot of like, Clark, Clark's been like the third wheel for a while. And it's, it's cool to see him like pull through with something like big. Cause this was big anyways. So they hide and they're like, okay, uh, we're going to leave you now. We're gonna, uh, they're, and Billy's like, thanks for helping me out. And it was, it was pretty nice. Cause they're like, okay, we'll wait for you for 20 minutes. And if you guys are, if you're not there yet, we'll know that we'll know what happened. And it's like, okay, that's good. But the girl comes around and she brings Mary, but it's not Mary Zelinsky. It's Mary video store, video city, Mary. And she gets it wrong. <laughs> I'm summarizing it. I'm, I know I'm summarizing it. It's because like, if things are so funny and, uh, the bell rings and girls come out and what's his name? Billy goes out and does this thing. And it's so cool because he was scared and he turns around and Alf and Clark are there right next to him. So they're caught too. And, uh, the, the sisters come out and Alf is like, Hey, I know like we, I've seen you before. You know me, you know who I am. I go to church, blah, blah, blah. Uh, says uh says something comedic i forgot where the, his exact words were but dude okay whatever i'm uh what's his name alf no billy lays it down on on mary he um he tells her how he feels and stuff and and mary okay whatever the, all that was great but this is where it's crazy mary looks like she's starting to pee and the sisters come and cover her up and they ask they ask Billy, are you the father? And it's like, what? No, her father is Sal Zelinsky. It's like, no, are you the father? And that's where the chapter ends. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so Mary's pregnant. And that's crazy, guys. I that came out of nowhere, but you know what, it was, it's been setting it up, uh, like, a little bit, just like, I think, with her being, like, chubby and stuff, it makes sense, like, well, okay, it doesn't make sense, like, girls can be chubby without being pregnant, whatever, but, like, I think the book tried, and I can't really say that, like, it came out of nowhere, because it, it kind of does hint at it, uh, a bit, just a little bit, not, I mean, I think maybe just through her weight, and maybe, no, no, do you think it's, do you think it's Tyler, do you think it's Tyler that did that, no, okay, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking, oh man, I don't know, I don't know, it's a crazy assumption, it's a crazy assumption, I need to keep reading, but my guess, this is a discussion, so I'm, we're discussing. My guess is that Mary was raped by Tyler, and that's why she uh, uh, she doesn't want to talk about him, or like that's why Sal also hates him, and uh, like they're they're super betrayed. I don't know, I don't know. How else would she be pregnant? I think. Okay, but if, what if it comes out that she's not even pregnant? That she really just Peter pants and the <laughs> and the the sister lady is like, "Are you the father?" Like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But um, man, dude, that was crazy. If she's I, okay, we're not even gonna like pretend like we don't know. She's she's pregnant, and we know, and that's crazy. Oh man, that was that was such a twist. That was such a twist. I was just like, what? No. No. And then I started thinking. And I started like, oh, dude. This is crazy. And, like, what is, what is, I mean, okay, like, what is Sal? Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, I was, like, thinking, wait, who's, who's Raul or something? And, but that was with Mary, video store Mary. Okay. 
So, guys, just to, like, talk about this chapter a bit. I thought the chapter was great. It was so much fun. Uh, it sh- it really showed how close these uh, the three friends are. And, like, they went above and beyond being friends. They could have left Billy there by himself the whole time. But they all they all stayed and even got caught with him. They're going to call the police, apparently. Um... Uh, and it was just a big twist. It was a lot of fun. It was was a lot of fun because it it recalled a few things from past chapters, like the whole uh, Kramer versus Kramer thing, and um, I I know that there was another reference from, like, the past in one of the chapters, but... Oh, uh, I think Lauren. I think Lauren was was referenced in the chapter. I think her name was Lauren, the girl that, that works at the video store. But it was a great chapter. It was so much fun. It was also lengthy, but it was so it was a lot of fun to read that I brisked through it. I was like like the momentum of that chapter just kept me reading quickly like things are happening like in the way it does. I don't know. And this major bomb just dropped on us. That is crazy. And it is the perfect place to leave for the next video on Thursday where we will be concluding the impossible fortress if you guys have been watching or listening thus far i want to thank you we're nearly there next video we're finishing it anyways oh dude i don't know what else to say i think i'm done i think i'm done saying things about this chapter it's just crazy it was a great chapter uh again you guys thank i don't want to thank you guys because i'm i feel like i'm pandering but I already said it like multiple times. Guys, leave comments down below. If well, tell me what you guys thought about this chapter, or tell me what you guys thought about chapters beforehand. Um, leave comments on past chapters, whatever what you want to talk about. Um, I'll go back and look at them, and I will reply. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> again, thank you. And I will be back Thursday with the last installment of the Impossible Fortress Book Club. Anyways, thanks for listening. Bye.